Making my player move has always been a problem for me, and it's not fun. Hello and welcome back to my King and Queen Dev Vlog, where I remaking this puzzle platformer game from Unity to Godot. Previously, I showed you the GDD plan I have for the game, and now it's about the player movement. From the moment I started my game dev journey, I can say that I am not a math wizard when it comes to physics, particularly in moving the player. All those gravities, sines, and cosines, jazz, and whatnot really hinders me when I'm trying to create a game from scratch. But thanks to these Unity tutorials, I managed to stay afloat and made some small games by copying some of their codes and tweaking a tiny bit of code or straight up copy pasting and adding their names in the credits. But thanks to this source code, I already have the codes of how to move the players. Or so I thought, but wrong. Or I'm wrong rather. I thought that copy pasting the old code from Unity to Godot could help me speed up this development. But there's a catch. You see, the time that delta time isn't just delta in Godot and it is passed as a parameter. The gravity in Godot goes upwards. There's no start and update in Godot. Instead, it has ready, process, and physics process, and all with other scores before the actual names. And they needed to be publicly overridden. Okay, these are just beginner mistakes I've had when I'm beginning to transition to Godot. And I know it is not one to one ratio, but I was kinda hoping that it could be closer. But the most infuriating bag is when this happens. You see, the player's head slides on the ceiling when it's colliding, and it's not fun and awkward. So, I added this bit of code to make it bump its head and bounce off the ceiling when colliding. Now, it works like a charm. I know it makes the script dirtier, but it solves the issue so I see no problem. And I also added some minor changes like animations, and the ability of changing the player through a button and changing its alpha value to know which player is active. And now you know the whole story of my least favorite part in game dev, making my player move and why I despise it. It is March 28, 2024 where I just finished making the 4 levels of King and Queen. I pretty much copy pasted the things that I did in Unity and made it to Godot. From then on I ran into some problems like this one, the player is not moving. But to my surprise, it is just a boolean that is not checked in the editor. Anyway, the whole levels are now working and I also made a new script called the Fall Aria where it will trigger a restart scene when the player or that character, either the king or the queen, falls right into it. And yeah, after one hour, this is the whole work that I've done during this day. Thank you so much for listening and watching till the end. If you want to support the game's development, here's my coffee page. Bye!